A man working at the Cathedral of St. Paul makes a surprising discovery. Someone left a newborn baby in a laundry basket in the hallway. Fox 9's Rob Olson spoke to the man. He has his story and more on how that young boy is doing tonight. It was 6 o'clock Wednesday evening when Nathan Leonhardt was making the rounds locking up the place, starting with this door in the northwest corner. And he came through and at the top of the stairs found a laundry basket with a baby. It's one of those days I'm never going to forget. Considering the setting under the historic dome of the Cathedral of St. Paul, it's pretty fitting they consider this a miracle. In more than 27 years as a priest, I've never witnessed anything like this. Because the basket was hitting this kind of pinch right here. It's Nathan Leanhart's job to lock up the place, and as he did so Wednesday, saw a laundry basket in the northwest entry. Checked it, thought it was nothing but blankets, and was moving on when he heard the cry. I almost thought my ears were ringing. I even kind of pinched my fingers to feel pain. They're like, am I dreaming? <laughs> Something like that. It was real. He called the rector, John Ubel, who then called 911, and as they waited for police and paramedics, quickly baptized him, christening him Nathan John. Whomever did this, for whatever reason or reasons, I'm not going to judge, but they did feel appropriate to bring the, the child into a Catholic church. And so, making an inference from that, I thought um, this baby is going to be baptized Catholic. Minnesota's Human Services Commissioner says this situation is exactly why the state has a safe place for newborns law. And while churches aren't specifically listed in that law, in this case it worked. Mothers are kept anonymous and they are not considered criminal. A hospital, an urgent care, or just call 911 and let the authorities know where your baby is. No questions asked, no blame, no shame. The men say they've now heard the baby will be fine and go into the care of Ramsey County. They'll never forget the few minutes they had together before he was taken to St. Paul Children's. They did what they had to do and that was it. The baby was gone and I miss him already. The message from St. Paul Police in all this is that they know that there's a mother out there who's just given birth and say if she needs medical attention, they hope that she goes and gets it, knowing she should have no fear of any kind of criminal prosecution. At the Cathedral of St. Paul, Rob Olson, Fox 9.